So moving into some of the more advanced areas of SQL Server, um, specifically this is Microsoft now, you've got to be a bit careful. Um, there are a lot of pitfalls out there and one of them I'm going to show you is something I learned from the very, very first days, the danger of using database diagrams. Sure, they can be handy for documentational purposes, but by golly, you've got to be careful when you use them because you can get yourself into a lot of trouble very quickly. Now, let me go and show you some of the pitfalls with it. So, database diagram is um, located in any um, database that you would go to. So, in this case, I'm choosing Northwind here. Um, inside the database diagrams, I'm going to right click and choose a new database diagram. And lo and behold, I should now have the add table option pop up. Um, I'm going to just stick with the um, customers and orders that I've done on numerous videos in the past. And I'm just going to click on close. Now, I came from learning SQL from using Microsoft Access. And then I moved up the ranks until I was programming in Microsoft Access. And then I made the jump into SQL Server. And at first I thought, oh, it's just a beefed up version of Access. Um, in a lot of respects it is, but in a lot of respects it clearly isn't. And this is one of the areas which really caught me out. It's all to do with what you can do in this diagram view. The diagram view is an administration tool. It is not a documentation tool. Now let me give you an example. Here's orders. I decided I want, don't want to see orders on the database anymore. You would right click or you could press delete on the keyboard, but I would never ever recommend you press the delete key on your keyboard. You would right click normally. And in here, what have we got? Delete table from database or remove from diagram. How dangerous is that? You would want to remove it from the diagram, but you definitely do not want to delete it from the database. It is a, such a dangerous option in here. But bear in mind, look at the other options you've got in here. Add related tables, auto size selected tables, that's more of a formatting thing. But then you've got things like relationships, indexes, full text index, all of these things you can change and you can fundamentally change the way the table behaves. Absolutely important to understand. Same thing here with these relationships. If I click on it and then choose delete, um, nothing really happens. But if I right click and choose delete, I'm not removing it from the actual um, specific diagram. I'm removing it from the database. So if I do that, are you sure you want to delete it? Sure, I'll do that. And wait for it. There we go. Notice now there are stars next to the actual tables. Well, that's telling me is that these two tables now have been changed. So when I save the diagram, and if you've ever done anything with diagrams and you've wondered why I may ask you to save twice, it's because it's doing two things. It's going to, first of all, when I click on the save icon, it's going to come up saying save the diagram. So I'll call it my personal hell. <laughs> because you will find out subsequently, I, I like diagrams, but I also hate them. Um, so I'll just call it that. And now look what comes up. It now asks me to save tables um, of the customers and the orders. And it's warning me about the affected tables. Well, yeah, hell, I don't care. I can always bring back the database again. But yes, I'll do that. You'll notice the stars disappear and, and it's done. I've now got my own little diagram I can refer back to at any time in the future. But what I want to point out is if I now go into the um, customers table and, and do um, let's have a thing. No, I deleted the relationship. Let me go to the orders table and go to the design and have a look inside here. And if you follow the primary key and foreign key um, video uh, on the basic series, you'll see inside here that one of the options is relationships. And you'll notice now that the relationship that you saw in that earlier video at pcteach.me is no longer there, which is the um, cust orders underscore customers link. Extremely dangerous. But here comes its redemption, because in the same way as you can delete stuff, you can also add them back in. So here's our customers table. There's our customers ID. What you can do, I'm just going to click away because you've got to do it in one fell swoop, is with the mouse, hold down the mouse button and drag. Uh, Sorry, get it right. Hold down the mouse button and drag, and then go over to the field you want it to go to. And what it will do is it will bring up the foreign key relationship. And notice that I'm actually in the same design that I was in the um, previous um, video, um, which was the foreign keys and um, primary keys. And inside here, you can see it's automatically putting in the joins. I'll just say OK to that. Um, do I want to call it FK orders customers? Fine, I'll leave it at that. And OK. And Notice I've got the stars again. Let me just save that. 
and again it's coming up saying do you want me to save the customers and the orders table I'll just say yes again and with that done let's go back into the orders table and look at the design and now we go to the relationships option and all being well we should see that that link is now back again oh look there it is fk customers and orders so what have we learnt about the diagram the diagram view is very very handy in regards documentation but I still have particular gripes with it is you'll notice that the linking is not directly related to the field and the field it's just table to table the reason being is that most databases that you will use will have a lot of tables and in the end you'll be zooming out to these sort of stages to see the information properly um, so we've learned that the diagram view is ideal if you're doing large um, sort of documentation um, options but you've got to be careful when it comes to dealing with um, the relationship side you can easily destroy a database by using this now just to finish off then the niceties what can else we what else can we do with it well yeah sure we can we can adjust the tables the other things are if you right click off to the side you can do new annotation so we'll just call this uh, relationships I'm good with the PC versions of relationships, but useless in the real life ones because I'm a techie person. Um, with that annotation selected, you could set the font size. So you just right click on it. It should bring up a dialog box in a second. So I want this size 22 and in bold. OK, uh, it's probably a little bit still too small. So I'll just zoom in a bit and use this crosshair at the bottom and then you can readjust quite quickly and you can move everything around quite quickly so you could put relationships annotation sorry an annotations next to all of your tables if you wanted to you can change the zoom you can also put in page breaks if you wanted to um, which will just show you which pages they're fitting on um, yet again another Microsoft product where printing always is a problem um, but you can get away with a lot what I'd recommend is if you're if you've got a database which has got hundreds of tables that's the typical that I deal with data today what I recommend is you'd have a series of database diagrams not just um, one you would break it down into the different sections so if it's finance you would have things about the customer transactions is one database diagram you'd have another one which is your general ledger transactions and so on and just break it down like that um, and so you would then just create all these different um, diagrams and is there anything else to it uh, well you can recalculate recalculate the page breaks that's sort of sort of repagination um, and you can copy the diagram to the clipboard which really is sort of like a, a picture that you can then paste into word but um, I would be doing other options my, my personal trick of the trade I do is if if I do use diagrams which to be honest I don't use that much but when I do use them what I would tend to do is I would do file print and I would make sure in my options I would already had a um, product such as PDF redirect that you can get from download.com and all that does is it converts everything into a PDF file for you rather than printing it out on a, on a piece of paper because I do a lot of report work PDF redirect or any other kind of um, PDF writer very very handy um, to have so with that then you've got it as a PDF and then you can do whatever you like with it, um, and, it and it's also in a read-only format which makes it much more difficult to edit so hopefully with this video just talked about the database diagram it is a good feature but you've got to be very careful when using it um, if you're not careful you'll end up deleting things that you didn't intend to and you can dr dramatically adjust the way that your database behaves so use it with kid gloves I would recommend that you don't touch this until you've really mastered every other area of the system um, but as a starting point this hopefully will give you an indication as to what they're for and if they can benefit you in any way. So thanks for watching this and I hope to see you in some of the other videos. Cheers.